started already? Yeah. That's what YouTubers do. Okay. Let's do it. Come on. Woo! Woo! Welcome to my YouTube. What? Woo! We have been wanting to do a Q&A for I don't know how long. Mm -hmm. I wanted to do a Q&A. The longest so time. I convinced him to join yeah. me. So, let's do this. Let's do it. Okay. Question numero uno. I put a question box on Instagram and I have all your questions here. So, we'll just start off with... Grab a pillow. Yes. Thanks. A little cafecito action. Cheers. We're having our morning coffee because we decided to do this bright and early. So, first one is, how did you guys meet? Tell us your love story. I always love having her say this story because hearing it from her perspective is way better than it is from mine. <laughs> Long story short, we met in high school, freshman year and his sophomore year. So I was 15, he was 16. Pretty much, I had a really big crush on him and he had no idea who Stalker. I was. <laughs> you know it's true. <laughs> Just a mule bit. A just a tat. He had no idea who I was, but I had a friend who was a cheerleader and he was on the basketball team. I told her to introduce me. <clears throat> yep, we got introduced Ended for like being two like seconds. Four, four introductions, but anyways. Yeah, so that first forward. introduction didn't work. No conversation exchanged. The second time and third time around, I don't even remember who introduced us, but that didn't work either. Apparently he just wasn't, he wasn't I was, there. I was playing hard to get. I was playing it cool. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> my last resort was messaging him on MySpace. Does anyone even remember MySpace? I said, hey, I've seen you around. I think we've been introduced a couple of times and I stumbled upon your MySpace, so I figured I'd add you. And what was my response? K cool. <laughs> Once he said K cool, I was like, okay, I'm done. After that, my friend, she set us up on a, um, not on a blind date. On yeah, a, it was kind of like a double date. I went over her house. He ended up coming with his friend and I opened yeah. the door and I saw him and I was like, what the heck? <laughs> that night we went to a bookstore and we had pretty serious conversations at 15 years old. I mean, I really wish that we could go back in time and just figure out what the heck we spoke about. But the rest is history. 11 years later, here we are. Cheers to that. Cheers. Do you do content creation full-time? Did you ever have another full-time job before doing this? So I'll answer for myself first and then you cover yours. So currently, <laughs> yeah, that that's the plan, right? Yeah. <laughs> yep. So yeah, we currently do content creation full-time. I quit my corporate job, which I've had since after college uh, at a bank. I quit December, 2019. Before moving to New York, I was working at Royal Caribbean as a corporate recruiter. We moved to New York and I was a corporate recruiter at Tiffany's. I was working a nine to six job and then mm -hmm. I would go home and work on my content creation until one or two a.m. every day. I just needed something a little bit more flexible so I ended up working at Saludos. I was their social media manager. It has been probably my favorite job because I was working in my social media space and yeah. it was fun for me. But I just, it got to a point where I couldn't balance both. I didn't really have time for myself so I ended up leaving. A lot of long nights. Yeah. yeah. I ended up leaving in October and I've been doing it full time since. Whoop whoop! What was your first date with Jay? Our first official date was at a sushi spot nearby my house called Bonsai. I was actually on our first month anniversary. We my mom to... dropped us off. We didn't have a car, we didn't have our license, so his mom came over, picked me up. I remember even texting my mom, letting her know <clears throat> how the date was going from my sidekick, which is sidekick. crazy. What camera equipment do you guys use and how to grow on Insta? We currently use the 5D Mark IV, which is Canon, and the Canon EOS R, which was their first mirrorless camera. We absolutely love both of those bodies. The three lenses that we have is the 16 to 35 f2.8, 24 to 70 f2.8, and 70 to 200 f2.8. Danny will put in the description with some links if you're interested in them. Look we absolutely you. love. You yeah, look know. at that. Yeah, yeah. I sound like a YouTube pro. Already. <laughs> what? Maybe I should start my own channel. Huh? I know her favorite is the 16 to 35. She really loves like the wide field of it. The 24 to 70 would be perfect. It would be the ideal vacation lens to use. You wouldn't even really need to 
to go anything outside of that. And then we have a drone, which is the Mavic 2 Pro. Absolutely love it. It's super compact, fits right into my camera bag, and it works great. I would definitely recommend and that one as well. And their newest little addition to the family ah, is the Canon. How could I forget? <laughs> the Canon G7X, which is the Mark one two. I'm using. Mark II. Mark II, yeah. which is the one I'm using right now. And how to grow on Insta, that definitely comes with time. It takes time. My biggest probably three tips would be one to pick a niche whether your travel your fitness fashion food stay consistent on the type of content that you share post every single day if not every other day keep adding value to whoever is following you i think adding value is my one number of the most one thing things, yeah. and number three is just engage engage with everyone who follows you they're there for a reason it's been an amazing platform to connect with people and i think that comes from engaging with everyone that follows you what is your ideal date for me an italian an early italian dinner followed by a trip to the movies oh that's it that that's that to me is just it just it warms my heart i sound like an old man she loves beach sunrises ideal date would be a sunrise at the beach watching the sun rise <laughs> <laughs> taking a dip finding a really yummy coffee such a great way to start your morning it's so therapeutic and light how did you get into blogging? How did you grow your following? And how long have you been working on your platform? I have been doing this since 2017. Very how I grow yeah. my following is basically what I just mentioned. In the other question, I started getting into photography as I started traveling more and more. I started sharing all the places that I would travel to, my experiences abroad, and that's how I slowly started to grow. And little by little, I started to incorporate a little a little, 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 little. <laughs> I think if there's one word that she could just she could use for the rest of her <laughs> life would be little. You lost me. <laughs> you had little to everything. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just I had a moment. I forgot where I was. Oh, I started to incorporate little life songs. <laughs> a little, little. Best place you've ever traveled to. The two that I, I would say really just blew us away would be New Zealand and Iceland. I wish I had photos of New Zealand. It was just, we went in 2015 and I wasn't even into photography at that point in time, so. For me, I would probably, ugh, I'm in between New Zealand because there it's like a postcard wherever yeah. you go, it's so beautiful. But I did live in Australia for a little over six months. I think it was more so about my experience there, but it's such a beautiful country and I fell in love with it. Yeah. I would go back in a heartbeat. I think that's my number one place in the if, world. If there was another country that would live in the world, it would be Australia. Yeah. What do you typically argue about? <laughs> like on something serious, I think the, maybe the way that we prioritize our own like our own tasks, tasks or our perception of time. I and always think that I can do 10 things yeah, in one day. Yeah. I guess my perception of time is not... <laughs> it's not, not aligned with my perception of time. It's something that we always get over quickly. It's something that I think communication is so important in a relationship. So as long as you're able to talk about it and just kind of reach a solution, then you're, you're fine. So it yeah. works out for us. Yeah. Can you both share some items from your bucket list? Ooh. I'm gonna mention Australia again. Everyone I, I, that I, knows me knows that I want to go back and live there. Shout out to Kendall and Glenn. Time. They know. They so know. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. <laughs> <laughs> One of my biggest things on my bucket list is to live in a van or travel in a van for quite a period of time. My sweet friend Kendall and Glenn, they have been living in their van and traveling the coast of Australia and it's been such an incredible journey to live through. So much inspiration. I admire them both. We both admire them a Heck lot. Heck yeah. It's yours. I would love the experience of living in another country and we've always spoken about living in Australia. Maybe not long term, maybe over like the course of a year. That's definitely something that, that crosses my mind a lot too. I can't think of anything else other than that. Living in another country? Yeah. So I don't know what else would be in my bucket list. I don't know. I guess I'm boring. Next. <laughs> <laughs> boring! First thing that let you know both he or she is the one, even if it was something silly. It's hard to pinpoint like one specific thing. She's so great. 
Uh, like, but we've been together for 11 years and we started when we were 16 and 15. Uh, one of the things that always stuck out for me was how loving she was with her family, how loving she was with all her friends. Along the way, it came to the point where I realized that that's exactly who I want to be the mother of my children. Hey, why are those little tears coming? Thank you. Okay. Um, oh man. I think I have to bounce off of the way. <clears throat> oh, come on, copycatter. No, it's so oh. true. Family for me is everything. And when I saw that he was the same way towards his family, <clears throat> that was everything to me too. So I think that for me was like a, like a ding ding. Check. Ding. Do you want one more ding? Ding. ding. <laughs> what made you move to NYC out of all places? Wow. <laughs> For me, New York City has always been extra special because it's always been my grandma's favorite city. She lived in Connecticut for a couple of years and New York was her everything. I was already in love with it without even visiting. When I got there, I fell even more in love. Every time we wanted to do like a little weekend trip, we wouldn't even think about it. We just knew we wanted to go to New York. New York it is. We just, I don't know, it got to a point where we were like, why don't we just move to New York and live that experience? I quit my job and luckily he was able to get transferred over to like, New York bank office. Mm -hmm. I always had this like inclination towards it. It just came a point where we said, let's just try it out. And we did and it was the best two years of our life. And here we are. And side, this is just a little side note. And you're one of those that have always wanted to make New York City home. I think that you should do it. You should put aside the fears and the doubts that you feel <clears throat> if you were to quit your job or if you don't what if you don't find a job, you will find a way to make it happen and you yeah. should make it happen because calling New York City home is it's an incredible experience. It's an incredible experience, a credible feeling yeah. and I a hundred percent recommend it. Go for it. If I, that is your dream. And I know that one of the biggest scares is like, oh, how am I gonna do it? financially if you just set yourself a goal like okay one year from now i want to move to new york city and you just start saving towards that if you can build yourself a savings where you can afford some time to find a job while you're over in new york there's plenty of opportunities in anything you can think of in yeah. new york so you can definitely make it work yeah. something you found out about <clears throat> one another that made you cringe but you still love them. perception of time <laughs> there's not much that i can really say that uh, is a negative for my little wifey over here. <laughs> that would just be one of them for me. Um, me. Oh, I don't know. Oh, the sitting. <laughs> oh my god. I remember tendency... how we said. Remember how we said that I'm a grandfather. He has a tendency to sit. I know this probably seems so silly to some of you. I because cross. You probably sometimes sit cross my legs. Like... Like, I don't think the camera fully no, shows you, know, how you're you doing can't, it. You can't. But I enjoy it. You know. <laughs> for me, it makes me cringe a little, but. You're gonna love you. Hey. Okay, who does the cooking? Right there. I right do. there. Right there. Uh, he sticks to the smoothie bowls and the coffees. I'll stick to whatever we're having for lunch and dinner. Yeah. So I just want to say, oh, 11 the truth years, comes. The truth. and I'm still trying to convince him to learn how to make a Venezuelan arepa. He I, still doesn't know how to make no, one. No, 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 no. Okay. Just haven't come around to it again. Any serious relationships before each other? Negativo. I wouldn't say serious. He's been my first serious boyfriend, fiance, husband. <laughs> oh, she went. What do you guys have in common and don't have in common? Are we gonna go? Yeah, you go. <laughs> <laughs> I think our love, one for God, our yeah. faith, being able to share our faith together is one of the most beautiful things I've been able to get from our relationship. Absolutely. What don't we have in common? <laughs> he likes Aww. to have his days structured, yeah. whether it's a day at home or we're on a trip. He likes to know like at 8 a.m. he's going to be doing this, 3 p.m., 6 Okay, maybe not exactly like that, but... I'm telling you, this is the way it goes. <laughs> Where I'm more of... A go free with the bird. <laughs> oh, thought of starting a family, a.k.a. having babies. Yes, we've always wanted to have at least two kids. He throws in baby comments here and there, so. Hey, you know, maybe I'm keeping it a secret. <laughs> Who said I love you first? Ooh. What was the story? Jay said I love you first at our six month anniversary. Six months. We were getting out of high school. He gifted me a jar for six months and it was like a clear jar like this. And inside he had tiny little <coughs> sticky note papers and each little slip of paper said something he loved about me. And they were all white. 
papers i remember yeah. that and then there was one red one at the bottom and he told me to leave the red one for last i started reading them out loud and then when i got to the red one it said i love you i freaked out <laughs> will you guys be planning on continuing your photography business locally yes. so yeah the answer to that is yes although i mentioned that i'm going back into my full-time uh banking job it's still something that we want to keep uh, growing and developing. Just to give a little backstory as to why he's heading back to the bank. Back in October, we shared our experience of quitting both our jobs. Our idea was to travel and to create content full time. Unfortunately, the pandemic hit us. And our main focus was travel and that couldn't be a possibility anymore. Right. Fast forward we got the news of my mom's cancer and we moved back to miami right away our main focus now is no longer to travel obviously to take care of my mama and make sure that she's getting the right treatment and we're here at home supporting her him going back to the bank is definitely going to be more sure a bit, something and, and more financially stable. stable decision to make so yeah the yeah. sacrifice yeah what is something that you guys love about each other so every Hey. <laughs> Except not. Except the perception of time. Oh my god. <laughs> We've already mentioned yeah, it. Yeah, we have. Any hidden talents or hobbies? I wouldn't say a talent or hobby, but I think... I don't know. <laughs> Maybe for me, a lot of people don't know I'm trilingual. I speak Portuguese because I lived in Brazil for a summer and I lived with a whole family. I studied Portuguese in school. So, eu falo português. Mas um pouquinho. I don't really consider that a hidden talent, but maybe just like a fun fact. What about yeah, fun you? Fact. I guess I would say hobby, but I think it's already kind of widely known based on our love story. I was playing basketball in high school and stuff. It's just one of the hobbies that I really do enjoy. It just takes my mind off of anything else that's going on. It's very therapeutic. Just like she loves her beach sunrises, I love my basketball outings. <laughs> for real, for real. Question. Ultima pregunta. Tan, tan. How do you feel about working together? I personally love it. I think it's so fun being able to work and share what we both love. I can bounce off of him for opinions, mm -hmm. for advice, for tips, and, I and think, vice versa. Yeah, and I think it goes both for the work that we do behind the screen, answering emails, putting together like administrative work, and then also going out into the field and taking pictures. Every day is a challenge in and of itself. And how cool is it that if you're you're facing the same exact challenges and you're tackling the same exact challenges every single day. It's a beautiful thing to do together. I would say that the most important thing is to make sure that you give each other time space. and space to do whatever it is that you're passionate about individually. My stuff is I like to play basketball or I like to work out. So it's like we need to build in that one to two hour window where I'm able to do the things that keep me going and make me happy. And for her, it would be the same thing, whether it's she wants to watch a movie or she wants to read a book, have a wine night with some with her girlfriends or whatever the case may be. It's important to give each other space. Just find the time to do things that make you happy and find time to be alone. I think it's so important. Yeah, 100%. Okay. No! I, I think we're done. Done! 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 Oh. <laughs> I'm so happy we got to do this together. Finally did it. I want to continue doing more videos, more she fun ones. I thought doing a Q&A video together would be a fun way to get to know us a little bit more than just seeing our stories for like 15 seconds. It's not the same feel. And I wanted to do it kind of as like a little intro on YouTube. I really hope you enjoyed it and had some laughs throughout watching this video. Hopefully. If you like this video, like it and subscribe and let us know what you want to see. Hasta luego, amigos.